What's up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. As I mentioned earlier, I'm doing a few makeup videos because I was sick and didn't record for about five days. Um, so this is going to be one of the makeup videos. The beer that I'm going to do today is going to be this Lambic from Lindemann's. This is uh, Peach Lambic. Um, I did a video a few weeks back where I did the raspberry. Basically, I got a four-pack of these. It was a gift set. Uh, it was out for Christmas. I think I got it at Meyer or somewhere. You got four of the beers, and it came with this glass as part of the gift set. Now, a few years back, I bought the same gift set and it came with this glass instead. I'm gonna go with this one. I think this is, is neater. You yeah, have very few uh, opportunities to use this style of glass, so I'm gonna break that one out today. Um, Lambics, if you remember from the other video, are kind of unique. They come from a certain geographic region of Belgium, so Western Belgium. It's an area called the Peyotenland. Uh, and I guess there are certain you know counties or whatever they are in Belgium that are part of this area. And uh, basically what they do is when they, they make the lambics, they expose them to wild yeast and they're basically fermented that way. Um, so it's kind of, of unique. Um, so this brewery is actually in a town called Vlezenbeek in Belgium. And they make a, a number of different flavors of the lambic. Um, in the, the box that I got, it came with two raspberries, a strawberry and the peach. But they do also make an apple one, which is pretty good. And then my favorite is the, the Creek Cherry although I didn't get one of those in the box. Um, you know, the Lambics are generally very low uh, ABV, so this one's 2.5%. Um, you know, this isn't obviously a high ABV beer, but I think what they, they lack in alcohol, they kind of make up for in flavor. These are really nice tasting beers generally. So let's check out the peach. Went on the untapped, they got a 3.57. Beer Advocate, a 3.96. And the, the Metascore, whatever you want to call it, was an 89 very good so let's check it out color you can see right away very kind of white straw yellowish kind of color um almost clear you can see through it Tons of firm, tons of uh, uh, bubbles, carbonation going on in there. Nice little white hat on it, probably about the width of my thumb. Um, it's not going anywhere. Persistent, staying there. Smell is basically sweet peaches. It smells really nice. Peach is probably one of my favorite fruit flavors. I actually love beers when they do them with peach or apricots, things like that. Um, so I suspect this is going to be a really nice beer. That's magnificent. Um, the taste is initially kind of like a, a sweet peach flavor, but it does have a little bit of a, a funky tartness to it. So these are made, you know, again, kind of with the, the wild yeast or whatever. Um, you know, I don't know if that's what brings it to it, but it does have a little bit of a tartness to it, and it's it's a really nice combination. Um, again, 2.5%. Nice sipping beverage, really nice flavor to it. Um, nice sweet peach and gives way to a little bit of that funky tartness. This is, is really good. Oh, the bubbles, the carbonation on that's crazy. Had a beer, I think I started off the day with a beer that said it was supposed to be like champagne. Those bubbles there look like champagne bubbles. Um, overall, Lindemann's Peach, Peach Lambic beer. This would get two thumbs up. Absolutely love this thing. Um, so, you know, if I could get my hands on another one of these, I would definitely drink it. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. As always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to jump in down below. If you've had any of the Lindemann's Lambics, let me know what you think of them. Hey, until next time, cheers.